recycle bucket here. It's full of this. Our work study students are going to understand how to dry mix this material. And just so you know, this is just like making bread. Right next to Nicole is the ingredients for our terracotta clay body, which is in here. This room has all this ventilation, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by taking a blue scoop off of the shelf. These are the old school fantastic uh, plastic buckets. Um, they're from like 1982 and they hold up really well, so try and be slightly careful with these. But I'm going to go into this bucket. I'm going to put in a scoop, right? And I want to make my job easier, so instead of hauling it too far away, I'm going to put it right next to the mixer. And take this bucket. I'm going to slurp it in there. So we're going to put between eight and ten scoops in this duck in the uh, in the mixture, okay? We're then going to close the lid, and then we're going to turn this on. This is what it sounds like. You will notice at the bottom this is a chain-driven machine. You don't want to have a long dress or anything like that. It's fairly safely contained. Don't be kicking your legs around and up underneath here, All right? And we're going to start putting in the dry material. And slowly, this machine is going to spatulate the clay until it mixes to a point where we can take it out, throw it into a bucket, let it sit for 24 hours, and it's ready to go, all right? Once I open up this dry material container, There's a switch that turns ventilation on. Ventilation pulls from these from these things here, from this me uh, mechanism over here. That's what it sounds like when it turns on. And what you'll notice is, again, I'm doing this without a mask. You don't know much you can hear what I'm saying. It's a low exposure experience. If I take some of this dust in my hand, and I kind of go like this. This sucks that material right up up and around, up to the roof, and it disappears. So, we will take this machine and turn it on. Once we have our 10 scoops of clay in here, and then I'm just going to start taking scoops of clay. And this is where, I don't know about you all, but I'm not great at keeping track of things. Sometimes I'll take a piece of paper and mark how many scoops I put in. I'll start putting these scoops, kind of like this. One scoop! Ah, 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 ah. You are not going to know what a good consistency of clay is. You're always going to be mixing clay when I'm around, okay? So if it gets too stiff, you're not going to be able to work with it. If it's too wet and mushy, you're not going to be able to work with it. And I can kind of give you pointers like, yep, it needs more water, it needs, if we're going to clay, it needs more water, it needs more clay, whatever, right? Okay, so we'll let that mix, um, and then we will remove it, we will put it into a bucket, we'll make sure we put plastic on top of that, and then a lid on top of that. Green button. There you go, now she's spinning. <laughs> this? Sure. As the mixer goes around, it turns to pudding first, adds some more dry materials, and in time it will end up looking more like, on. here it is, like a donut, it gets a little bit thicker, and then finally there are large chunks all throughout the mixer, and now it's ready to take the clay out. As you're starting out, it's pretty easy to take the clay out because the chunks are all individual and you just kind of pick them up and you throw them in the bucket. And you want to make sure you kind of toss them in the bucket hard. Then you're going to take out what's called a scraper. There it is. You take the scraper and you're going to scrape the walls of the mixer off. 
and each one of the scraping chunks that you will take off, you'll throw right in the mixer. So here's a side by side. I've taken the hose and I'm spraying down the inside of the mixer really well. Notice I still have my mask on because there's still dust being raised up as I'm going through this process. So I start wiping down the inside of the mixer with a sponge. As I'm wiping it down, I'm taking the material and the water that's in there and I'm squishing it into that bucket. So I'm wringing out the sponge as I'm cleaning out the mixer. So I go around, I want to clean after I've taken all of that clay out of there. I'm going to sponge off all surfaces because I want to get the mixer to be back down to not the red and the muddiness of the clay, but to the cement of the drum. So I go around one more time, I spray it out one more time, and then I go through that process again of taking the big wet sponge and wringing it out in the bucket each time. Is this a long labor intensive process? Somewhat, but it's what we need to do to clean this mixer out. And it goes a little bit faster each time you do it. No, it doesn't, but it's nice to think that. So as I'm taking the sponge and wringing it out, if you look in that bucket, you can see just about how much water I'm going to eventually take out of the drum in the mixer. And I will take that water and I will put it back into the clay recycling bucket that I took all of the slurry out of when we started mixing this clay batch. Still stuff in the bottom of that mixer that I have to sponge out and then again wring the sponge out. I want to take my wet sponge and wipe the exterior of the machine down too. This is what your mixer should look like. So that's how you mix clay. You're not always going to have to clean the mixer out so that it's super clean down to the cement drum. That's not always going to need to be the case, but sometimes it is. So you're going to need to clean it out. Clean the drum off so you can see the blue arrow. Make sure as you're cleaning up, this is a highly electrical motor. Do not get this wet. This is not a thing to get wet. Neither is the control panel. We wanna make sure that we can see all of the, all of the warning signage that is on the piece of machinery that we call the mixer. And then of course, last but not least, we're gonna make sure that we mop the floor. You're always gonna clean up and you're not to mix clay if Nick isn't around the facility somewhere or knows that you are familiar with this process. So keep in mind this facility is yours to use as you would like, but let's be respectful and keep it clean.